X-Men Season 1, Episode 13. Uh, thoughts? This episode is called The Final Decision. Right, and this is the animated X-Men show from 19, that started in 1992. And yeah, so spoilers for these first 13 episodes. Another episode I absolutely love. Please support the SAG After Strike. There will be links in the description box. And let's dive right in. So, yeah, Magneto explains to Senator Kelly how, you know, he used to see or awful things done to, to people, and he's determined to never let that happen again. And I like the detail that now the Sentinels are made of plastic, which I guess may have influenced the live action. Yeah. And, yeah, Master Mold is back. <laughs> I don't know if I love or not the fact that there's no explanation for how he survived. I mean, we didn't see him destroyed. That's the, you know, that's the thing with, like, comic book stuff. If we don't see a body, then the person isn't dead. You know, but it seemed like he couldn't escape from where he was. Yeah, I don't know. They, I mean, they don't even say, luckily, I was able to... No, it's just, he's still here. And, yeah, and Master Mold takes control. And he wants to replace the senator's brain with a computer and yeah that's a you know it went all it went kinda Skynet and and sort of uh, Seth as well from the second the, the um, Universal Soldier the return and yeah so so um, Gambit says, you know, don't, you know, you can scan my brain, but don't go too far back. So he's still keeping secrets. Before I continue, before I continue my notes, I wanted to say this was a pretty solid season finale. You know, the, and, and a great tease at the end for the future. You know, this is the kind of thing that would, you know, I'm sure a lot of kids really wanted more. And, yeah, it went on for, it got a total of five seasons. So, and, yeah, so we see there are a lot of Sentinels, like dozens, maybe a hundred. And they actually managed to shoot down the, the jet, but, uh, uh, not Gambit, uh, Magneto saves it. I really love the part where, like, Gambit and Wolverine are going down, like, this tunnel, and it's, you know, pitch black. And then a bunch of eyes, you know, the red sentinel's eyes light up in the dark. Wolverine gets Gambit out of there, and then we get a fight that's lit entirely by the blasts of power of the, the sentinels. Super cool. And, you know, Master Mold points out, you said to protect humans from mutants, but mutants are human. You know, so logically, it's I have to protect humans from each other, from themselves. And um, I think his name was Trask. You know, he uses the laser on the propane, and we get one of those. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, a bunch of shows, maybe it's mo mainly Saturday morning cartoons from the 90s, like, keyboards would, like, light up, you know, and, and you, if you pressed, if you pressed the right buttons, the machine would do the opposite, or, or a thing that it was, not necessarily the opposite of what it's supposed to do, but something it's clearly not supposed to, you know, like, a laser that's, like, it's supposed to, like, cut his head open to remove the, the brain, but now it can also, like, cut through a propane, you know, gas vein. It's just, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, and I'm here for it. And, yeah, some really massive explosions at the end of this episode. And the jet, like, dives into Master Mold to destroy. And Kelly is somewhat of an ally now. That's very cool. And Beast is set free, because it really was, like... Like I said, from you know, when talking about that 
an earlier episode, you know, it was pretty ridiculous that he was like, you know, oh, we're going to deny bail. It was like, he didn't do anything violent. You know, it's not, like, granted, some of the people he was with did something violent, but, like, we, you know, we saw everything he did. He didn't do anything violent at all. Let's see. And, and I do really appreciate, you know, Beast, uh, you know, so sometimes people deserve to have their faith rewarded. And we end on Jean and Cyclops wanting to get married, even knowing that their children will deal with the same problems, the, the same bigotry as they do. And they're watched by, you know, I didn't realize that they were actually going to outright say, you know, I've, I've read a lot of comic books where, like, the very last little bit will, like, have someone from off-screen say something. I don't remember many of them where they would say their own name, but, you know, maybe it's, um, maybe it's because it's a show instead of, but, but yeah, you know, very cool, and, you know, he, yeah, he doesn't say his full name, which is Mr. Sinister, he just says, Sinister knows what your future holds, and he does one of those wonderful, maniacal evil laughs, which just, and, and that is, like, it is, a, it is kind of interesting bringing in Sinister after Apocalypse, but sure, you know, I have to admit, Mr. Sinister is one of my favorite comic villains, so, yeah, really looking forward to seeing him on the show. Um... So yeah, overall, I mean, I would still probably say I feel like the Four Horsemen thing would have been a bigger season finale, but this was a good, you know, this, th th yeah, basically, these last three episodes are all about, you know, will the future, can the future be saved, or will the Sentinels, you know, and it all boils down to what happens to Senator Kelly, kind of thing. Yeah, actually, I guess the fact that Senator Kelly is now their ally is the resolution to that. That works. Because he, you know, it was the, the thing was, he was already going in that direction. If someone else assassinated him, you know, that would especially, that would greatly increase the, the hatred and now he's still alive and he's their ally, so that's gonna really... And I guess they were thinking that Sinister would be really cool to tease for the second season. And that's why... And Apocalypse is still out there. You know, he didn't... He got defeated, but he didn't die or anything. So... But yeah, um... That is what I have to say about this one, so yeah, make my marvel.